What is up guys, Purple Apathy, back in the building with another video today. I got something special for you guys, Mind of Apathy, Episode 7, where I give you the strategy and pro tips as the game goes on. I'm going to try my best to teach you guys so you guys learn something new. This is actually a script versus DT, as you can see on the scoreboard, and it's a map I go off, so make sure to watch it. So usually what you want to do is send at least three middle at all times, and one guy can like flank big door steps, but we decide to go four middle, get a nice two-piece right here, slash picks up the last guy up top. So, once you have full control like this, you gotta make sure you get a good setup. One guy has to watch the dip or jump up. One guy watches the small door, which we call a small door. One watches Z. Unfortunately, I think J-Cap died from G Z. Jump picks up a nice three-piece. Now, as soon as J-Cap, you guys saw J-Cap spawned out. He spawned out all the way back field. That should immediately indicate that they're gonna be laundry or dark unless they flank all the way glass. So right here, I immediately plant uh, pre a big door. Re-challenge this guy since I have the advantage. Pick up a nice two-piece. Put some bullets, get taken out, but that is just uh, spawn knowledge. So, it's actually a really good tip. 25 seconds left. We have to rotate to the next hill. We want these back spawns. But on top of that, if you ever spawn here and your teammate's in the hill, push the big door out for him just like this. Please don't, don't leave him hanging because if you don't watch his big door, he has to worry about five things. If you cut out the big door, it allows him to get in a better position and just watch his front. So right here, we spawn out. My teammates are, are kind of rotated in a way, so I'm going to go ahead and rotate with them. Since they're fighting the spawns, you want to have at least two people off the break fight for spawns like they were doing. But since now two people are still in the back, I decided help, I decide to just lay down and help my teammate in hill because we don't need two people in the back in case they flood. And then side of flood here, I uh, kill it. You know, it's the best player in the game. It gets a nice two-piece. Holy shit, he world star John. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know John dies there. But right here inside of EMP the hill, uh, obviously Sasha gets a nice two-piece. I can pick up a kill, immediately go in to just fight it you know even if i'm weak even if i were to die there like it is kind of a reckless trade but my teammates are coming it's one guy in the hill like me baiting myself allows my teammates to clean it up even if i died but instead i end up winning the gunfight so good for us right here it's, it's slasher's holding the back we immediately know they spawn up top i do a little nice look at that that was a sick two piece i, I did a little nice prone like to the snake and actually get that nice two piece it's helping my teammate at the bottom and this is a good way to hold the stairs because usually when they're going down the stairs, they expect you to be in front, like up top. But when you're laid down, it's kind of hard to you. Might catch them off guard. Here, doing a little bit of a wall bank, just trying to get them weak, trying to stay alive for my teammates. I should have really died there. That was this kind of stupid challenge. I should have shoulder peeked it, but either way, my teammate John ends up trading it. So right here, we're gonna rotate. Now this hill is kind of hard to break. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This hill is really hard to break, especially because they keep spawning back there. A good way is to have people do the low wall run, and that's like the best way to catch them off guard. But right here, it's going to hit them straight on and hope for the best with these gunfights. So JCAP contests. We know a guy's back square right here. I'm going to go for immediate challenge, and this is where I get fucked because that was a good play by me, getting picking kill off guard. John ends up getting, I think, a two-piece here with the heat wave. That was really good, you know, but it just like breaking this hill comes down to gunfights and teamwork because this is a hard hill to break. I immediately go to the right, pick up a nice two-piece. Psychosis, I actually had pretty a lot of fun with Psychosis map. Um, I definitely think Psychosis is underrated. It's it's fun to use. You get it about three, four times a game. It does cause distraction, so I would always recommend using it. Right here, I'm surprised I didn't get that kill. I must have missed a couple butts. I slide out way immediately, knowing that you know he was gonna kill me. And unfortunately, it was a good play, but they spawned there, so they end up killing me. And if you guys didn't know that on the old hill. They're always going to spawn back there. Even if you have control of the hill, if your teammates are so spawning out, they're spawning back there. The spawn system for that hill was so weird, but at this point, like, we're used to it. We get three down. I'm, this is actually a good corner to watch mid hill, guys. Uh, it's really effective right here. I'm just pre-firing killer. Just make sure, trying to make sure I win this gunfight. Just jumping around. And this reason this, this corner is so effective is because people slide down. And look at this. That's why it's so effective. They never see you. And it's a corner I've been using a lot. Like, usually people like to sit behind a pillar, especially when you know that you don't have control of their pillar. Right here, I turn around. Last guy should always watch Pinch on this hill. I don't know if you guys ever watched Killer's video talking about Fellow. Like, when they were playing 8s or something, he's like, dude, he wasn't watching the Pinch. Well, here's a good example. Last guy, always make sure to watch the Pinch. I EMP it. I'm just holding it. I have no reason to help my teammates in the hill until they died. Now I turn around because I know they're not pinching. They're sliding the front. Pick up one, just preaming, slash cleans up the second guy. I rush out, try to get pillar, help him slash it out, and that's just dual ship right there. 16 to 8, John is 16 to 8. We're both having a pretty dominant game. Right here, just putting some shots. Rechallenge, knowing. Look at this. Oh my god, I almost got sick two piece. Push shots on him. I knew Killer was challenging the left or challenging slasher. So I immediately peeked back to the right to pick up uh, another guy. So right here, rotating to this hill. 
the rotating to this hill, it's actually pretty damn important because this first hill is hard to break if a team has a setup, and that is the only facts. I almost got away with the psychosis, man. But this hill is so hard to break, guys, and one thing I really recommend, if you, especially if you, the enemy team has a junk time, give them that 10, 10, 12, 15 seconds, and just rotate. So back to what I was saying. Boom. Spawn out glass. My teammates have full control of the hill. My biggest goal right now is to to make sure we have big door because big doors are a big thing and let my teammate just focus the front So right here, I'm gonna EMP check immediately just in case they're there I actually tend to be someone here sender get the kill and I really pressure off my team But I believe there's there's another guy big door. Yeah, he stuck by I tried I think John gets him, but Now look I got big door. We know they're not behind us we, I'm still kind of angry that spawn on top at the same time because that's where the next hill is gonna be and now my teammates all have to worry about the front. So right here, he spawns glass. I'm like, alright, let's switch this together. And this hill you want to play for this, these back spawns. It's really important. I believe Afterburn. Yeah, Afterburn knows Van. Okay, that's why I can't boost around fast. <laughs> but play for these spawns are so important. Right here, just trying to challenge. Pre-fire, just trying to stay alive, you know. Do my thing. John's like, let me go in with the heat wave. I'm like, alright. I get one for him. He gets the other. Pick up the two-piece. And now it's three dead. So back to what I was saying. So we have full control of the hill. We just got three dead, right? And no one guy's not gonna get a two-piece in hell like the chances of that are really random So like I said two people should be helping the back I immediately go help my teammate in the back because we know if they're not hitting the front my teammates are spawning the front They're most likely pitching the back and unfortunately killer was already pushed up killed me But that's that's your mentality always try to help your team in the back Especially if you know they're pushing it you want so at least two people so right here at EMP the hill I honestly like EMPs are really effective uh, Stops that you it stops your radar if they have uh, you know, kill, uh, kill streaks. It stops it for the meantime. They can't activate them. They have specialists. They can't activate them or disables them. Uh, EMPs could be very, very, very OP at times. So don't think like EMPs are useless. Like even EMP checking, like knowing where someone is, is really helpful. Like they're really good. So right here, uh, this is a good cut to do. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know this, but let's say you spawn on a glass and your teammates kind of have control of left. You can just jump down the dip right here and then jump up. Usually, I like to jump up to the right corner. That way, like, I'm not in the left corner. They see me immediately like this. And then I always get, like, a kill or two. You see, I get one right here. I think that's... Uh, do I get two? All right, spot killer. Okay, he slasher kills killer. But I'm just being a nuisance right now. EMP him real quick. Boost up. Get the kill. Get a nice two-piece. That box did no chance. And it was just a good cut for me to get. Applied a lot of pressure. They literally couldn't do... I mean, they could do something about it. But Slash was helping me on top of that. Right here, teammate gets team killed. Psychosis doing a great job. Uh, who was that? Sender was shooting my Psychosis. I'm just trying to stay here and stay alive. My teammates all die. I immediately go inside Laundry. Just playing my life. I believe I get gunned right here. This is kind of an awkward gunfight. But... Okay, I got gun. Elkar! Dude, pistols in this game are so dumb. I swear to God. But my main... Like, if you notice... As soon as all my teammates died and I knew, like, there's no point for me to do a hero play there, right? Like, I used to be such a hero player at times. I've I've learned a lot. Like, there's no point in me to do hero play. Instead, if I were to back up, play my life for a couple seconds, let my teammates come back, pinch the hill, and I could pinch the hill from Laundry, it could, like, easily gone in our favor. But the only problem is Chino ran in there and gunned me with an L car, so it didn't. But it was just a better play. It was a smarter play. So right here, gonna EP hill. I hate auto in this game. 60 seconds left. You remember what I told you guys? They usually still spawn back here most of the time. Uh, this time they did it just because whoever's top AC right there. You guys seen the mini map? I'm pretty sure he blocked the spawns, but usually they will spawn there if no one's blocking that. So right here, I'm gonna rotate. Three seconds left. I usually don't like to challenge head on. If you notice me, did the back wall run. It's just a more safe, safer way because when you just straight run, they can have an AR top glass. They can have a guy in hill premium in front. So I like to challenge it this way. It's a little bit more safe. Uh, this gunfight was a little awkward. I kind of choked some shots and then but it was just like I would need to have that kill uh, John gets a nice two-piece rotates a hill. You always want to secure. All right This is a big tip also like I'm just trying to teach you guys I'm sorry if I keep pausing here and there But the best way to describe it is if you guys remember train hill on fringe I believe I already did that map I talk about how you want to secure spawns on one side like that is your goal because if not you're gonna spawn Back alley in trains. Well, this is the same concept. You're gonna spawn like backfield, mid map. You don't have a spawn. So when it comes to this hill, like you want to make sure at least three teammates are pushing one side and trying to secure a spawn. Whether it's pillar where I am right now or tree on the other side. But always remember to secure a spawn. If not, you're gonna keep spawning out, spawning out, spawning out. And you're gonna give the enemy team almost a full 60. So right here we do have pillar control. I believe slash is watching pinch. We have full control. 
or someone's watching pinch. I get heat wave and I get taken out. But you see, you see this spawn. You don't want this spawn. Like this spawn is trash. And the reason we spawn here is probably because someone's pushed out pillar and spawned us out. But you always want to try to secure a spawn. So right here we do kind of a split push. I push this way. He's trying to stay alive. I'm like I need help. There's a guy in front of me. I just pre-fired everything. Oh shit! Killer kills me. Not much I could do there. I continue to spawn out. And if you notice, guys, like us spawning out every time, they pretty much, we got some time off this, but they got like 40, 45 seconds. I believe we get this last 14. Now, I decided to stay. This is the God Corner, and I'm going to show you why. So, John's challenging. I don't necessarily have to challenge with him. I could just, even though it sounds wrong, if he dies, I just bait him. I clean up the kill. And that's all. It's, it's teamwork in the end of the day. So, I end up cleaning the kill for him. EMP in the middle, just trying to stay alive. I know I'm EMP, so I'm not going to rush him right away. Pick up one, decide to fly out as soon as I get that one kill. Get two kills, psychosis, immediately activate, cause distraction, and then boom, kill the guy Z because of my psychosis. I don't think I get this guy right here. Nah, John kills him. And I'm just trying to stay alive, being nuisance, get two of my streaks. I'm like, alright, I'm one off a of survey, and I get shot in my ass, dude. Gotta love the big doors, gotta love the big door. So, right here, I spawn second hard point, right? If you look at my mini map, I already have a teammate. You remember how I say teammate glass should pick a big door and make sure no one's there. Make sure he secures that. Cause look, look, it's the, our teammate right now in hill is looking big door because he thinks, hey, I have to watch my big door now since no one has it at the moment, which is true because you don't want to get shot in your ass. So as soon as they got big, a big door, he's gonna turn around and watch us front. We have a guy watch a small door, glass and dip and Z is open right now. So my job, spawning second hard point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up his Z and make sure no one can push his Z. So that cancels out. Two things in the mini map right there, and then all he has to do is worry about his dip pretty much because the guy on top can kind of sound like glass and watch his front. So this is what I'm talking about comes teamwork and securing this hill. He, so I think Slasher does watch his big door for the moment until the other guy picks a big door, which is a smart play to do. He cleans up the guy big door. I'm like, I have your Z, I have your Z turn around. He immediately turns around, and this is where we just work the hill. This mid hill is it's a lot about communication and teamwork. I remember back in the day, I used to have a lot of issues with this hill. But as the game went on, I just realized, you know, what to do, what not to do. Right here, I lightning check. I actually tend to do that a lot. I use my lightning, especially in a close game like this. There's no re I could do it. It's not a big deal. Get a nice two piece here. But I ping my lightning to see where they are. And it's good because it gives you information. So, like, I can tell my teammates, look, look, they're flanking, they're flanking. Uh, there's two flanking, two push in front. And it immediately gives my teammates, they know what to do. So, right here, I get a lightning kill. And then I get this kill. And then I have a hellstorm. 38 to 21. John goes 40 to 20. John's 40 to 20 right now. He's my psychosis. And that's it. That's game. We played. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. That's about to be game. We played the map really well, if you notice, uh, for the most part. Me and John went off. Uh, we both had a really good game, but I hope you guys learned, uh, you know, some new things on evac. It's it's not it's not really a complicated map, but there is a lot of things to it. And you know, the more you you learn these things, the, the more knowledge you get into your mind, into your brain, the better you're gonna become, especially on maps like this. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. This has been your boy Apathy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys, and I'm out. Peace.